cute little place in La Jolla, and in the front yard, there is Mary Beebe doing some gardening outside this Cape Cod-looking house that's just as sweet as can be, all the little touches of home. But can I just say that there's something very odd about this house? Can you see? It's tilted or misaligned or something. Oh yes, my sister won't come in. <laughs> So some people, it affects everybody differently, but it affects everybody to some degree. It is. It's tilted. The floors, the walls, all the furniture, everything is at an angle. From the second you walk in, it's serious vertigo. <laughs> and you know Mary had it built just this way on purpose. The structural engineer first said, when he heard about the idea, he said, that's, that's a pretty preposterous idea. A house that would be deliberately designed to be disorienting, put together in such a way as to play tricks on your mind. Now when I look at you over here with a door that's a little bit smaller, you look very tall. And if, you, if I stand up here, I look a lot shorter, I'll bet. Well, they said, we can build it. We're pioneers, engineers, we can figure this out. And they did, all for the sake of art. They built it and hoisted it seven stories high where it hangs over the side of the Jacobs School of Engineering building at UCSD, and there is nothing else like it anywhere. A lot of people think of the Wizard of Oz, and that's very appropriate. You know, it could have been arrived here by tornado. In fact, it's called Fallen Star, part of what is the Stewart Collection at UCSD. You see them, about 20 works of very unconventional art from Tim Hawkinson's 180-ton bear in the academic courtyard to Bruce Nauman's vices and virtues in flashing neon right outside the window of our little house here. We had a student up here, and the student said, well, we, UCSD doesn't have a football team, and the Stewart Collection's kind of like our football team. And that made my heart just go, wow, you know? Mary is the director of the Stewart Collection. She says this house was inspired by a Korean artist named Do Ho Sa, who came to the U.S. to study design and felt complete disorientation in his new home, like he'd been dropped from the sky. So he sketched out the idea for this house. Mary took it from there. We wanted it to feel comfy and cozy, but a little off-putting. Young kids sometimes want to know, does she live here? She tells them <laughs> no. And honestly, I don't know how anyone could. The only straight up and down in the house is the hanging chandelier, and that looks plum crooked. So here's to Mr. Do Ho so and the late James Stewart De Silva and his foundation and Mary Beebe for such a fascinating artistic creation. Maybe Fallen Star didn't exactly drop from the sky, but we're happy it landed here for it is something quite unique about San Diego. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click on the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this one.